Hey, Boston Swickers here with this week's Fantasy Football Update. We got a couple items on the board this week. First up, no pay penalties. Your three week grace period is over. So starting with your week four matchup, minus one point for all you no pay. Right now we're looking at about half the league. And I'll be applying these penalties before the game on Thursday night so you can all see who you are as well as whether or not you're playing one of these clowns. As is always the case, get me your money on time before the end of the game on Monday and your penalty goes away or to be stored. All right, next item on the board. How about that blockbuster trade going down on Tuesday? The biggest trade in league history is the first ever three team trade and it moves seven players to new homes. Here's how it breaks down. Dallas gets Tony Romo and AJ Green from Jay. Jay pulls in Sam Bradford, Ray Rice, and Reggie Wayne from Dallas, as well as Eddie Royal from Swick, and Swick gets Jordan Cameron from Dallas. Well, not Jordan Cameron from Dallas, Jordan Cameron from Cleveland, but the kid's name is Dallas. Anyways, kudos to the three of you for rolling up your sleeves and hammering out such a deal. Best of luck to each of you. Next up, this week's low score award, which ushers in another congratulations to Jay because his record for low score award of the season was shattered this week, not only by Butters' lynch mob with a 43, but even more when Chad Hemmings' You Mad Bro scored 40. You Mad Bro? I would be true if my team scored 40. That's 40 points for his entire team. Not a description of how many ounces of beer he's trying to drink out of one container. I mean, who even drinks 40s anymore anyways? His leading score was his kicker with a 10, and he lost to Swick, who had two players score zero. That's right, Swick started two players who scored zero points, and he still beat Hemmings. Good luck with your team for the rest of the year, Hemmings. I mean, I guess if your team had a soundtrack, it would have to be something closer to Nirvana's rape theme than We Are the Champions by Queen. Queen. No, it's not Queen, it's Queen. Like the band Queen or Queen Latifah? It's Queen to make it funny. No, it's not Queen to make it funny. It's just Queen because that's their name. This is not a play on words here. We are not being funny. This is just the name of the band. He doesn't get it. Yes, I do get it. You don't get it, AT&T guy. It's Queen. Queen. 